Hello dear viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Humphrey Polipole and um, this is my uh, channel that I am going to be um, from time to time sharing with you my different opinions and perspectives uh, very much center around uh, issues of development. Um, uh, so welcome uh, every time uh, at my channel which is at uh, www.youtube.com slash hpolipole. So this channel very much uh, it will be having different uh, postings and videos and presentations from different locations that I have an opportunity of attending and participating as a presenter or a lecturer. Uh, as a development um, a professional a consultant but also a civil society activist in Tanzania, East Africa, Africa and globally as large, uh, I feel this will be the only contribution that I could do um, in terms of uh, um, the, 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 the thinking around development and, and, and which is in the end of the day um, it's all about what I think is right, what you think is right, what we think is right and what is the best for our societies, communities um, to progress and to develop and to have a much more of a better place to live uh, which is very much the responsibility of everyone. I very much support the the phrase that our, our common goal was differentiated responsibilities and I feel this is my responsibility. So dear viewers, to start I would like today to um, share with you about uh, the issue of corruption. Corruption is a very serious issue. Corruption compromises uh, integrity, tolerance and, 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 and such uh, issues. But I would like today to look at the civil society responsibility in the fight against um, corruption. Looking at the, the progress and the challenges that are there. So before I, 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 I say anything, it is important that we understand what corruption is. Corruption by definition, and I'm quoting this from Transparency International, uh, uh, and other parties, corruption is the abuse of entrusted power for private gain. Corruption uh, is the misuse of power, authority, or entrusted powers for private gain. And, um, and corruption happens very much at the expense of others. It hurts everyone whose life, livelihood, or happiness depends on the integrity of people and uh, who are in, in, a, in a position of authority. Corruption even poses a serious development challenge. In the political realm sphere, it undermines democracy and good governance by floating or even subverting formal processes. Corruption in election and in legislative bodies reduces accountability and distorts representation in policy making because only those that are able to corrupt their way in are the only ones that are able to get into the policy making bodies. Corruption, worse enough, in the judiciary, it compromises the rule of law and Corruption in public administration results in the inefficiency of, 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 of provisions uh, in, in social services. More generally, corruption erodes the institutional capacity of governments and non-government organizations as procedures are disregarded, resources are siphoned off, and public offices are bought and sold as if nobody uh, is responsible for them. At the same time, corruption undermines the legitimacy of governments and organizations and institutions and such democratic values as trust and tolerance are completely put on hold or compromised at all. But you see, 
corruption, corruption, corruption. This word corruption originates from the Latin. And, and it means, it, 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 in, in, in Latin, corruption is corruptus. Corruptus, in Latin, it means to destroy. So, that should be the first understanding of all of us, that whatever that we're talking about, corruption has nothing else but to destroy. And we're talking about destroying the, the human rights, destroying the economics, destroying the bonding, the community, society bonding, destroying basic needs and the accessibility of the same, destroying um, access to employment, destroying access to information, destroying access to justice, destroying all what you think is the right of a human being. Corruption destroys that. But then, if this is how corruption is not good at all, what is the motivation behind this? And then why then people dwell into it while we know the purposes of corruption is to destroy it? On this first series, I would only mention a few motivations for engaging in corruption and why people engage in corruption and why our, our dearest brothers and sisters uh, can be leaders, can be people, uh, elders, can be young people engage in corrupt practices. They say people offer bribes because they want an unfair advantage over others to pay lower taxes, to get an appointment, or a promotion, um, to win a contract, um, or to, to, to get something done quickly. They also may offer bribes to avoid fine or penalty. So these are some of the reasons why people engage in corruption practices. One, if I would start with politicians, and politicians does not mean the traditional politicians. Anybody can be a politician, but particularly politicians within the, the realm of politics. Politicians seek money to use for patronage. So you have money, you're the most respectable politician. They may argue that to stop such payments, let's say to people, could bring political instability and unrest. You don't have money to calm down your people. You don't have money, you know, to let your people, uh, you know, come down, move around, do things for you. Uh, things won't work out nicely. Politicians and officials who fear loss of office seek corrupt benefits. And they might consider corruption as some sort of insurance, especially if they can expect no pension. Um, next. 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 Um, some people seek status not only for having more riches than their colleagues, but because corrupt officials may be admired by friends and family for their skills in outwitting authority. This is very bad. So if we're talking about uh, behavior change communications, in fact, in the area of corruption, that is where BCC needs to very much be applied for. Because these days, bad people are an inspiration. And that takes us to issues of psychology and mob psychology. Why all of a sudden people tend to like bad people? Next. And, and for this first introductory um, um, posting, I would limit uh, the reasons to that, but I would like also to share with you the other adverse effects of corruption. Corruption undermines economic development by generating considerable distortion and inefficiency. I mentioned earlier the reasons for engaging in corruption. Let me highlight a bit the conditions favoring corruption. Lack of, enough, lack of uh, uh, access to information, lack of information at all, lack of government transparency, lack of institutional transparency, lack of organizations transparency, 
lack of investigative reporting in the local media, um, contempt for or negligence of exercising freedom of speech and freedom of the press, um, weak accounting practices, including lack of timely financial management, um, lack of measurement of corruption, for example, using regular surveys, of households and businesses in order to quantify the degree of perception or corruption in different parts of a nation or in different institutions. Um, not having uh, this uh, um, exercise, it increases, uh, it, having this uh, 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 kind of exercise, it increases the awareness of corruption and it creates pressure to combat it. Um, Lacking the civic society and non-governmental organizations uh, which monitor the government. Ladies and gentlemen, I would end here for today and until next time I will continue with our uh, series in, in the area of corruption. Um, on, on my uh, channel we will be talking about a wide range of issues. Today has been corruption, the next time will be about civil society and their role in development, um, the role of states in the, in the, in the contemporary society um, the role of youth in development, but also we'll be looking at uh, different uh, other issues uh, within development economics, um, human development, um, organizational development, um, and, we, and, 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 and I will try as much as possible also to very much uh, center and concentrate in the issues of uh, strategic planning, policy advocacy, uh, and the like. So until next time, I say bye-bye and stay on www.youtube.com slash h44. Thanks.